Hey y'all, it's Sunshine. How is everybody doing on this fine Sunday morning, afternoon? Technically, it's Sunday evening. Um, on the 27th, February 27th. Um, almost to the end of the month. Almost. So, I was in the memories on my Facebook. And a picture came up today, or I think it was yesterday. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to make that again. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but I called it Under the Influence because it's all neons. And that's not a filter. That's the way it looked. It was pur That's not blue. It's purple, but... Yeah, I want to make it again. It's Octagons and Squares Throw by Crochet Crowd. I don't really, I don't remember for sure. Um, because that was one of the pieces I did when I first, first started crocheting. Um, and it was actually good. It was a decent looking piece too. It found a home real quick. Um, here lately though, nothing's finding a home and it's kind of aggravating, but what am I supposed to do, you know? It's only so much you can donate before you're like, listen, I gotta have to sell some of this so I can buy yarn. Because I don't have, I have some yarn, but not coherent enough to make a blanket with. And I do have a lot more of that blue yarn. Oh, I hate having all that blue yarn. But I'm making use of it, so... It is what it is. I'm just tired of blue. I'm just really tired of blue. I want some color in my world. Besides blue. So. Alright. I'm working on. Um, sunshine and sunflowers. Um, Carolyn Manning design. And. Uh, I'm on the last page. And this page is the hardest. It, It's like. No rhyme or reason to this flower. And it's very hard. I've, I've spent all day just barely squeaking out the piece that I've, the progress I have made. Because it's just it's a couple stitches here, a couple stitches there. No rhyme or reason. It's kind of frustrating. I love her designs, but this one... It doesn't make sense. This flower just does not make sense. And I've spent all day and barely got any stitches. Like literally, I've been all day working on this since about 8 o'clock this morning. And it's now 6.30 at night. And I haven't, I've only gotten that progress. Only this. There's no rhyme or reason. This is the last, this is the bottom of the page and the last part of it. This right here is the flower. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just ta da! Kind of like this is the last flower. I'm out of ideas. So, if I didn't love this piece so much, I would just be like, forget it. I'll finish it another year, but I really want to get it done. So hopefully in the next month, next month I can finish it. I just, I don't know. She released a new pattern today. It's called Pickles. Pickles. It's the, it's the, um, tent makers. It's the 83 by 83 and it's green and it's called Pickles. It's kind of cool, kind of cool, but I never did purchase the small one, the one I wanted to get. I just wasn't able to do it yet. Maybe next, next, maybe next month, um, things are a little tight on my end. So, and, um, it may, y'all may see it in our, your news, I don't know, but I-20 and... 
FM 600 was a very, very tragic 18-wheeler wreck. Um, they, they, they passed. They, they did not make it. Um, it was extremely fire, a lot of fire, a lot of fire. Um, and my thoughts are in, in prayers are with these families. You know, you you say goodbye to your husband or your your wife, knowing that they're going out there, be gone for months or just you know a couple of weeks at a time, and you just gotta hug them one more time because you just never know. You just never ever know when is there gonna be the last time you get to hug them and. Uh, my best friend was a trucker, and I, I would be on the road with him, and, and there was so much you see that just breaks your heart, but um, today's today's accident was just, it was heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking, and, um, you know, I, I don't know, but... Uh, Anyway, guys, uh, I didn't go to church today because it's potluck Sunday, and um, I never go on potluck Sunday because I'm not comfortable going to church empty-handed on a potluck Sunday's message. Um, I don't have anything to bring, and I know there's plenty of food. I know that they have made plenty of food, but it's one of those things I'm not comfortable. You know, I, I don't have anything to bring. And, um, so I watched our service on, um, a live feed and then, you know, that way I watched it and instead of going, so thankfully I had a ride. I had two people ask me for a ride, if I needed a ride, thankfully. So, um, it was, it was so nice of them to do that. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking about doing a whip parade sometime so if y'all can see what I have that I have I have all these starts but not a lot of finishes so there I need to go to storage because there's one pattern that I really want to do and it's by soda stitch and if you haven't ever done a soda stitch pattern they're amazing I love soda stitch um, most of the time they're full stitches and not full of half and quarter stitches and back stitching and blah 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 most of the time it's it's just full stitches and um nothing too intricate and i really really like soda stitch i'm sorry guys I'm just not feeling so hot. Um, I don't know. My chest hurts. But I think it's because I'm stressed out and I'm worried. And I shouldn't be. God's got this under control. And hopefully I hear something from my insurance this week. Having no vehicle utterly sucks. It sucks so bad. You have to rely on rides or walk. And... I hate that. I hate it. And I hate not having a vehicle. Um, because I need to see doctors and I can't go to Abilene with no vehicle. So, I just, I've just got to take a deep breath and be like, okay. You know, but y'all know me long enough that I have control issues. I have trust issues. I have control issues. So, anyway, guys, I I know it's long-winded, but um, I just had a few things to talk about. Um, but other than that, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, kind of want to start June's block. I keep saying that on each video, but I just haven't started it, and I probably should. I haven't done any sewing. Um, I haven't sewed on my um, string quilt yet, but uh, I've got. Can I show you the block I got made? 
I gotta cut it down so it looks weird, but I gotta cut it down. And all you do is just cut along the edges. I love sewing on muslin. I really enjoy sewing on muslin. Um, it's a lot better than the telephone book paper. So, anyway, y'all take care, and I will talk to you later.